Welcome to episode 10 of season 2 of The Sample Study. That's right, it's the finale of season 2, and the date is Thursday, July 19th. I'm your host, Too Mello, standing at attention in front of my music production software. Here at The Sample Study, I take just one sampled song per episode, I take the song that is sampled in, recreate the beat by hand, and analyze how the producer who sampled it got from having a record in their hand to having the sample on a record of their own. It has been far too long. I'm sorry. I've been working on an album, uh, getting sick and stuff, not being able to figure out which sample I wanted to study. Well, I've chosen one, and a producer I've been thinking about a lot recently, apropos of nothing, because he hasn't really done much lately. Uh, this week, it's Dan the Automator's sample of the band Coughs and their song Excels for the track Sunshine off of his first album as part of the group Handsome Boy Modeling School. Koss was a Belgian progressive rock band led by guitarist and flutist Daniel Schell with vocals by Pascal Sun. Listening through their discography, every album in their career from 1974 to 1983 sounds utterly and completely different. They managed to keep listeners on their feet by hiring singers and players from different countries in which they had healthy fan bases to join the band and change their sound. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of recorded information on them except for what we can hear in the music. So without further ado, I want to play an excerpt from the song we're paying attention to today, Excels. Released in 1976 on the band's second album, Viva Boma. It features Elaine Gutierre on bass, Guy Leno on drums, Daniel Schell on guitar and flute, Mark Hollander on keyboards and bass clarinet, Vincent Van Vogt and Pascal Sun on vocals and oboe, and was released on the label IBC. I just went through all those names without realizing that I should have uh, done a guide to figure out how to pronounce them. But hopefully I fucked it up. It would be hard to find two producers in rap music who love taking on alternate identities or doing concept albums more than Dan the Automator and Prince Paul, and the people they work with. Dan the Automator is responsible for Deltron 3030 and Dr. Octogynecologist, the odd sci-fi side projects from Del the Funky Homo Sapien and Cool Keith, respectively. Both of these albums are legendary among nerds that like rap, and also ended up defining the MCs that created them somewhat against their intentions. Prince Paul is responsible for much of De La Soul's early production, the first hip-hop opera, A Prince Among Thieves, and some of the beats on the RZA-led horrorcore group Gravedigger's albums. These two producers finally came together for Handsome Boy Modeling School, a group that produced two exceedingly quirky albums ranging from hip-hop to R&B and loosely based on an episode of a television show called Get a Life that aired for a short time on Fox. They use vocal clips from the show, as well as creating their own characters who go to the school or do advertisements for it between songs. Got all that? Good. The song we're focusing on today, Sunshine, is, big surprise, a weird song. It's one of a few surprisingly melancholy trip-hop turns on the album, with multiple vocalists taking turns expressing regret at losing someone close to them in some way. The song seems to be aimed at drawing someone out of self-imposed isolation. Uh, with the chorus being very helpful. 
The beat marches along with a strange hypnotic melody plucked out on guitar and a rapturous chorus. What makes it even weirder is that Saturday Night Live character Father Guido Sarducci shows up to do ad-libs after every hook. Uh, Let's listen to some of it now. Everybody used to think of him as, well, more like a bum, sort of, a musical bum than anything else. Your love is my sanity. Sunshine was released on the album So How's Your Girl on Tommy Boy Records in 1999. This particular track was produced by Dan the Automator and features vocals by Sean Lennon, Josh Hayden, Money Mark, and Paula Frazier. Brandon Arnovic plays guitar on the song as well. Now we're going to move to the part of the show called The Lab, where I take the sampled song, investigate it to find the bits that the artist sampled, and remake the beat as best I can with my own tools, and guesses at what processes it went through... And as with every episode, the first thing we need to do is find the beats per minute because knowing the speed of the psalm will help us figure out everything else about it. Despite there being a number of tools now to let you time stretch and pitch stretch everything all over the place, samplers typically still pitch things up or down to make them fit the tempo they want. It's a clean method that doesn't create a lot of digital artifacts. Lining up the psalm Sunshine, I was able to determine that it runs at 73 BPM. We will be working with the sample pitched up 171 cents. That's one and a half semitones and 21 cents of pitch up from the original pitch. And I found that I got the best results from the sample, making it sound like Dan the Automator did by using just the right channel in mono and uh, slightly dipping the high end, bumping up the EQ at 100 hertz and 4.84 kilohertz. You get three minutes and 22 seconds into the song Excel before you hear the recognizable loop of the verse sections of Sunshine. That's why I had to push the preview earlier way forward. <laughs> uh, it's repeated with different vocals over it throughout the song from there. Excel, So, the key with studying this sample was finding the exact sections that Automator picked out and using the vocals to um, confirm that they were the right sections. The simple sounding loop was actually constructed out of a number of different sections. The first one comes at 324 in the original song. Very importantly, this is the only place where the vocalist isn't speaking over the ending of the bar. So we have to nab that. We're going to use that as a vital piece for constructing this loop. Sometimes vocals are left in behind songs, you know, with a lot of Kanye West production. It's famous for the uh, chipmunk vocal uh, pitching up. But typically, you want to try to cut around those vocals because it can be distracting. Next bit is at 354. I recognize the little vocal over this, so I gotta grab that. I 
also recognize the one at 402. But there's one thing I couldn't figure out. Somehow, Dan the Automator has the first guitar note isolated. Whereas in the sample, I've picked up, it's always being talked over. This took me a few minutes, but the trick is that it's the same note being played on the guitar, but from a completely different part of the song. It's not part of that loop that we're nabbing. I found it at 334. An interesting thing about this chop is that the strings behind it are on a different key than the rest of the core loop, so it weirdly fits perfectly as a starter to the loop that briefly changes the key and keeps everything interesting. So here's how I chop it up. I start with the disconnected note, then throw in the 354 vocal bit under it and beside it, then make a slight cut before using the ending we found at 324 to close off the first part of the loop. I'm not sure if that slight cut was made by necessity or style, but the effect it has is to draw the listener's attention in with a brief pause. We start the second bar off with the vocal from 402 and end with 324 again. So all in all, that's a more simple loop. Before we move on to the chorus, I do want to add some drums. Very light touches on the drums in this song. They're basically just there to complement the drums already in the sample. I'm using a live hi-hat, a gentle but firm kick drum, and a very low-key snare panned slightly to the left. In the hook, these drums will become stronger. So I think the hook in this song in particular is so beautiful. Uh, let's listen to the production. Forget about your sorrows. Forget about your heartache. Life is nothing but a shadow. Forget about your worries. Forget about the bad times. Life is nothing but a shadow. We find the sample at 115 in Excel. It's a more straight chop. What we do is take this entire segment and start back with the first snare at this point. which is a classic tactic, looping on the snare rather than the uh, beginning of the measure. It's been done in a lot of songs, probably even on this podcast before. So we have a smooth two bars to work with. And I mentioned the drums got louder. It mostly involves turning the hi-hats up for this section. Chorus ends uh, in the song with an echoey horn sample that I could not find. It's not part of Excel, and it's not part of the other sample used in the song. So I just kind of ripped it from Sunshine itself. And there's also a vocal sample from the beginning of Dave Serrano's Ooh Wee Man that features him saying Ooh Wee Man. Ooh Wee Man. And just for fun, because it's an, uh, an important part of this section, I've done the wah guitar lead playing that you hear in the right ear. That would be Brandon Arnovic on guitar. This is a strategy uh, Dan the Automator employs a lot, having live musicians fill out sample tracks with subtle performances that are made to be indistinguishable from the sound of the sample itself and blend in nicely. All right, 
Let's listen to the whole beat we have here. Many of the songs Dan the Automator has produced with vocalists have strange tongue-in-cheek lyrics, like the entirety of his album Music to Make Love to Your Old Lady By. It makes listening to these songs an odd, unique experience because it kind of seems like no one except Automator is taking it seriously. The beats are so beautiful and sincere, uh, but I have to recommend the songs with a caveat because the lyrics are so distracting. But it is apparent that both Prince Paul and Dan the Automator have a weird sense of humor, and uh, that should extend to even the most beautiful and serious music they make. So that concludes this session of the Sample Study. If you have questions or requests, send them on over to samplestudycast at gmail.com with the subject line questions or requests. You can follow the show on Twitter at Sample Study Cast, and you can follow me at Mellow without the W makes. Mellow makes. I really appreciate iTunes reviews if you have the time to leave one. It really helps the show get out there or just tell your friends. If you would like to support the show financially, my Patreon is patreon.com slash 2mellow. That's the number 2 in mellow without a W. And uh, you can make a one-time donation at paypal.me slash 2mellow. Paypal. Paypal. We recently hit the goal required to start streaming Sample Study episodes live, so we'll be starting Season 3 strong by doing that later this year. You can purchase the album Viva Boma by Koss anywhere you can find music, and the same goes for Handsome Boy Modeling School's So How's Your Girl, an album I highly recommend. Thanks to Dan the Automator, Prince Paul, Koss, and most importantly you, for joining me on this episode of The Sample Study. Keep digging. You'll find it.